so it is September 15th and it is a very gloomy day um, I'm in North Carolina I'm in Western North Carolina and Florence Hurricane Florence has hit Eastern North Carolina and I just want everyone to know out there if you're living in Eastern North Carolina I'm praying for you and it does get better uh, I went through Hurricane Hugo in 1989 and we were four weeks without electricity very hard time but um, it will get better and so here in Western North Carolina we are preparing for I think at the point when it reaches me it'll be a tropical depression which means we will have a lot of rain so I had to get the garden ready for a lot of rain because just like with not enough rain when your plants dry out uh, too much water can be just as bad for your plants so what I did basically for the container garden here is I took um, the saucers out from underneath most of my plants um, and I just stuck them right over there these are those little plastic saucers except for the plants that really like a lot of water like mint I went ahead and left the saucers underneath those and then I moved the green stalk over here by the house because we may get some wind gust and so it could possibly knock that over so basically I just don't want my plants in standing water for a long period of time and that's why I moved my saucers out from underneath most of them um, my rosemary will love having a lot more water though because it starts to get root bound and needs more water about this time of the year alright so I want to show you what I'm doing in the square foot garden also so my garden is right back there and I moved my grill over here to the front porch where it's covered because I plan on grilling out even when it's really raining as long as it's not too windy I'll be out here grilling so basically I am just making sure everything is secured I've given my pepper plants a little bit more support with some tw with some twine just by tying them up they're really weighted down with peppers right now and they need that extra support um, I went ahead and also um, planted some broccoli because it will like having some nice rainfall so that'll be fine for it and then right over here I emptied my rain gauge because I really want to keep up with how much rain we get so that'll be interesting to find out just how much we get in what amount of time they're saying it could be anywhere from six to ten inches um, in my area but it really just depends on the path of the storm and um, where it comes through all right so let me show you in the pepper container garden what I've been doing so with these peppers here in my three gallon containers I just went ahead and removed them from the bins so that they're not just sitting in water because those bins obviously will be overflowing with water if, uh, by tomorrow evening you know if we get as much rain as they're projecting I also moved the pepper green stock right over here next to the house just to help it in case there's some wind I locked the brakes on the wheels as well because to keep it from rolling around um, I harvested all of my peppers I did one last harvest on them before the rain starts coming in uh, all of my plants are really just still loaded down with peppers so I've been very very pleased with all of the peppers this year so there you go that's what I'm doing to prepare for a lot of rain and hopefully that's all it is hopefully we won't get too much wind and there won't be um, any power outages thanks for watching y'all have a good day